that. Let me tell you something. This is a little sidebar. I have seen this over and over again. Women will be the most patient, enduring, stay with it. I want to pay attention to my vows. I want to do everything I'm supposed to do. I want to do what my mom and my grandmama mm -hmm. says, right? I'm trying to do what the lady at church told me to do. I'm trying to be there. But let me tell you something. When they get to the point, they're like, I'm done. He can turn all the way around. I'm just looking at you like, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a wrap. I have seen that over and over and over again. So, you know, take take heed in terms of what my, my husband said. Um, you know, be be careful. And let me explain, yeah. though. Let me explain why. Because you got people like us that's on the other side talking to her in her ear, saying that she needs to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. Like after she's done A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, like we're, we're talking to her, not literally, but, you know, people like us, we're talking to her and making her aware that she has value. She has worth. She don't need to tolerate and stand for the stuff, some of the foolishness that you've been putting her through. Mm -hmm. And so I think that you're even doing yourself a disservice when you, when you say that she woke up one day and said that she's checked out. She ain't wake up one day and say that. She's been saying that, mm -hmm. but you ain't been listening. You ain't been listening. This is true. And so we got to stop walking through our relationships with our eyes wide shut and really fine tune our hearing so that we can hear and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. This ain't no new thing. Yeah. It's been there, but you've been blind to it out of choice. Mm -hmm.